Hello everybody, Computerized MTG here, and I'm excited to bring you my first deck deck of the new year that is Standard Esper Control. Now before we get started, I want to mention two quick things. First being that my voice, well, as you can probably tell by how it sounds, it's kind of down in the gutter. Uh, I got sick, so there's that. I apologize for how that sounds in advance. Uh, second thing is that this deck is not updated up to rivals of Ixalan and that's for a good reason that's because this is the actual deck that I will uh, try to be playing at uh, Friday Night Magic at my local game store so this is the current state that the deck is in and to be honest I'm not exactly impressed with any of the control cards that were released for rivals of Ixalan there are a couple, mainly the Sphinx and the uh, Dinosaur that were released as uh, pretty cool win cons, but even so, most of the other cards in Esper colors were not that great in my opinion. So I will be leaving the deck in this current state, but I will be releasing an updated version as I either make changes to match the meta that is being played at my local game store, or if I update it with any cards from the new set. Anyways, enough chatting, let's get to the deck. Alright, let's look at the main board, starting off with the win conditions. We have 4 copies of Torrential Gearhulk, 2 copies of the Scarab God, and 1 copy of Kefnet the Mindful. Speaking of Kefnet, if he looks a little out of place in the deck, it's because he is. He's really supposed to be a third copy of the Scarab God, which unfortunately I did not have, so I stuck him in its place instead. I'm really curious to see how it performs, as I believe it is still a pretty decent card in its own right. That being said, as it stands, Kefnet can be swapped out for just about anything, such as another copy of Search for Ascanta, or another Board Wipe, or, as already mentioned, another Scarab God. The other two win conditions really don't need an introduction. Torrential Gear Hulk is amazing, as it basically turns most of your graveyard into second hand, and of course, the Scarab God is an absurd card that does everything a control finisher wants to do. It's got a decent body, it's hard to remove, allows you to filter unneeded cards through scry, and the activated ability is straight up bonkers. Keep in mind that you can always use the activated ability on your own Gear Hulks, and in doing so, you will still get the Enter the Battlefield trigger. Let's now move on to the targeted removal, and for that we have 4 copies of Fatal Push, 3 copies of Raska's Contempt, and a single copy of Essence Extraction. Fiddle Push is obviously the best removal in standard right now, so no surprise that we have a full playset in the deck. Raska's Contempt is an amazing answer to gods, and of course, Planeswalkers, and while 2 life is not that amazing, it can always help us stabilize against the more aggressive decks. This is also true for Essence Extraction, and while it could very well be another copy of Raska's Contempt, this can hit a turn earlier if needed. Now you might be asking yourself, but what happens when our opponent has flooded the board? Well, for that we have a few board wipes, which come in the form of Fumigate, which we're running three copies of it, and we're also running one copy of Settle the Wreckage. Fumigate, obviously, is one of the staple board wipes standard. It is not only able to clear the board, but it can also gain us a decent chunk of life in the process, which can always help us stabilize against aggressive decks. Settle the Wreckage, while conditional, is kind of nuts as a board wipe at 4 converted mana cost and at instant speed. Giving your opponent lands is usually never a good thing, but if it means stopping an alpha swing, I think it's worth it. It is also... Worth noting that since the creatures are being exiled, this can also work as a pseudo Vraska's content when it comes to dealing with gods or planeswalkers like Gideon. Of course, it wouldn't be a control deck if we didn't have some sort of counter magic. So our counter arsenal is made up of the following. 4 copies of Essence Scatter, 3 copies of Disallow, and 2 copies of Sensor. Now, Essence Scatter is great, as most decks right now are very creature heavy, so you'll be hard pressed to not be able to counter something with it. Even against the Control Mirror, they're not completely dead draws in game one, as they can help stop a Gear Hulk or a Scarab God. This allow is just a catch all answer. They can also deal with activated or triggered abilities. This little tidbit can come in handy every so often, such as stopping a Scarab God, for example, from bringing back a Gear Hulk. So, not really much to say about this card other than it's good. 
sensor is also good as it's kind of always been since its release the flexibility of being able to use it as a cantrip is pretty great i just don't feel the need to put three to four copies like i have been putting into uh, my previous blue red control deck and as i've seen in some blue black decks this deck really doesn't need four copies of sensor in my opinion so two is enough now obviously we need to be able to get to our answers and eventually our win conditions a little bit faster than just top decking them and to help us with that we have two copies of search for Ascanta and four copies of glimmer genius now search for Ascanta offers two forms of card advantage which are before it flips and after it flips. Before it flips, Search for Scanta allows you to filter the top of your deck and aid you into the next draw, but when it flips is when the real card advantage kicks in. Ascanta the Sunken Ruin is basically a repeatable impulse, which in a control deck, being able to do that at the end of your opponent's end step every turn is pretty nuts. And of course, you can't run control with blue in it without having the staple blue card draw of the format right now, Glimmer has the ability to let you dig up to 4 cards, and it also gives us a little bit of energy, which while it isn't too important in the deck, it can still help us color fix when we really need it through Aether Hub. I also shouldn't really need to point this out, but this is the card that you want to cast with Gear Hulk. Going Gear Hulk into Glimmer is crazy value for us. Now lastly, to finish off the main board, let's quickly run through the lands this deck has. We are running 4 copies of Glacial Fortress, 4 copies of Drown Catacomb, 4 copies of Fetid Pools, 3 copies of Concealed Courtyard, 3 copies of Irrigated Farmland, 1 copy of Field of Ruin, 2 copies of Aether Hub, 1 copy of Evolving Wilds, and to finish off the lands we have 2 Plains, 1 Swamp, and 1 Island. That's it for the main board, now let's take a quick look at the sideboard. Starting off we have 4 copies of Duress, 3 copies of Negate, and 1 copy of Commit to Memory. The rest is great as it not only helps us strip the best card from our opponent's hand, granted that it is a non-creature non-land, but it also gives us information. This is important for a control deck because it lets us plan out how to use our answers a little better. For example, casting the rest just to find out that your opponent has a handful of lands and creatures can be a signal that your opponent has no immediate answer to one of our win conditions, thus allowing us to freely play it when we might have otherwise held it back for fear that our opponent may have been able to deal with it. Negate is here to mitigate just about anything that isn't a creature, particularly in control matchups. It also comes in handy, especially against artifacts and enchantments. And while white has better answers for both of these, negate simply offers more flexibility on what we can hit with it without narrowing down to just one or two targets. And commit to memory is a catch-all answer that can give us a bit of tempo with the shuffle ability it can come in handy from time to time. And to finish off the sideboard, we have... 3 copies of Regal Caracal, 3 copies of Authority of the Consoles, and 1 copy of Settle the Wreckage. Regal Caracal is here to help us gum up the board. Having a couple of these out can actually turn our board into a pretty serious threat, as well as an easy way to buy us time to get to our big guns by gaining us some life. Authority of the Console is here for much of the same reason as the Regal Caracals are, which is to act as a life buffer and buy us time. Although with the recent bannings, we might be changing how many copies of both Authority and Cats we're running. Settle so the Wreckage on the other hand is here is just another board wipe that can be brought in if the single copy in the main is not enough to deal with specific threats or simply if we are up against a deck that can consistently flood the board and the four board wipes in the main just aren't enough to deal with that. And that concludes my standard Esper control deck deck. Once again, I apologize if my voice was what it was, but unfortunately I was sick at the time of recording, and even after recording this a few times, it didn't quite sound much better. If you need the deck list, I will not only have it posted down in the description below, but I will also have a link to my list on Tapped Out, which I will keep up to date as I make changes to the deck. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please remember to like and comment. If you want to see more of my videos, feel free to subscribe, and to get notifications of my new videos, hit that bell or follow me on Twitter. I will see you all in the next video, and until then, have a great day.